This is a walkthrough video of 1238 Sea Plume Way. We're here on the south end of Siesta Key. Sea Plume Way is a little, little street that's tucked in just south of the Stickney Point Bridge. And uh, there's probably about 20, 25 homes on it. Um, almost all the homes are on the water. This house is uh, really tucked away back here in the jungle. You barely see it from the road. Um, lots of foliage here. It's an interesting house as this uh, front section was added um, later than the house was built in the 70s. The space on the ground floor is non-conforming but is living space. And so we walk in and we got this big foyer here and this was all added um, after the fact. And that goes up to the main house which I'll start up there. And I'll go upstairs. The downstairs is like its own little apartment almost, which is great for kids. It is non-conforming space and is not included in the, in the square foot calculation under air. It's got some really cool architectural features. I like the, the, the slanted roof here and the, and the stained glass and this big, big area, which is great. Uh, we have a dining room, and then this is all open to basically the kitchen and the and the little breakfast nook going out to a screen lanai. There are some updates in the kitchen, uh, but a lot of this is original, this original uh, cabinetry. They have put granite in here. Uh, the indirect lighting, it's, it, it's, it's kind of rustic in appearance. Um, and it's pretty cool though. So a washer and dryer hookup and hot water heater right here off the, off the uh, kitchen. Large area here, like you could have a much larger um, uh, island or a peninsula sticking out. So this home's listed at 685. It's um, it's got a lot of square footage. The total square footage is 4,300, and the under air square footage is about 1,900. I'm going to start all the way at the top. So now this is the third story. So from up here, we're actually going to have a bit of view from the from the to the water side. Uh, but we can see the roof looks to be in good condition with architectural shingles. This would be the master suite up here. It's, it, you know, it has carpeting. There's somewhere it could use paint. Um, you know, it could use some TLC and some updating. But this is really cool from up here. Feels like I'm in a tree house. See the deck goes down to the water there. Don't have much of a water view because of all the foliage. This could be cleared out and see a bit more of the water, especially the bamboo. Um, it's a cool house. It's gonna take it's gonna take some money though to, uh, you know, pretty much do a lot of stuff in here uh, to update it all the way around. But this is a neat little um, deck off the master bedroom. So master bedroom has closets with uh, kind of rickety, broken bifold doors which need to be replaced. The bathroom's a bit dated with. Um, with some tumbled marble tile. It looks kind of cobbled together by hand almost, I gotta say. Um, but you have a walk-in shower, and then you have this pretty cool jetted tub. Um, you know, it's it, this is actually kind of neat. It's like a little atrium here. I'm, it's like a greenhouse bathtub, I'm gonna call it. So, so it's nice to have the whole upstairs being the master suite. Then when I go downstairs, over here we have another bedroom. There are three bedrooms and three bathrooms in here. <clears throat> this is guest bedroom number one. Um, the windows are older, older uh, double hung windows and aluminum. Has popcorn on the ceilings. Then bathroom, guest bathroom right here has uh, some kind of a Spanish tile. And the tile throughout is all this kind of Spanish tile. Um, irregular edge type tie with a vessel sink. And then this is guest bedroom number three. Also, it, this has a, a closet, but this has this walkout that goes out to, um, to this giant deck here, which is really cool. I actually like these railings a lot. It's, uh, it's really neat, but this kind of gives you a sense of perspective. You know, we really are in the jungle here. And um, it's gonna be a really neat outdoor space. Very private. Hardly see any of the other houses around. So lastly, we're gonna go downstairs to the finished area, which is not included in the calculation, but it's like its own little apartment down there. 
Somebody had fun with tile mosaics here. <clears throat> and then I'm also going to show you the huge garage, which is really nice. So this is a big room. It has its own uh, little kitchenette unit there, with a and there's like a little bed over here. So this is uh, this is non-conforming space. However, this would be the fourth bedroom and fourth bathroom. Um, it has a closet over here. Uh, that's a little nook under the stairs, and then this would be a little linen closet. And this bathroom also has tumbled marble top and uh, some interesting tile work above the tile there. But the garage is fabulous here. This is a really deep, I'm going to say, four-car garage. The AC looks to be in good condition. Got plenty of room for stuff and bikes and cars and toys and everything. And so um, this is a great extra little TV room. But the magic really happens out here at the dock. I'm going to go out to the dock. Um, currently, there th this goes right out. So this is sailboat water. Oh, I forgot to mention a spiral staircase over there. That's kind of cool. Um, so all this deck, a little bit on the rickety side, but um, serviceable. I like all the pine needles. It's like I'm walking through the jungle to the it's high tide right now. So no boat lift, but you could have a boat lift here. You are on the water. There's a seawall right there. Only a couple houses, and you're right out to the right out to the um, uh, intercoastal waterway and so it is very private somewhat owner overgrown I do have to say but pretty cool nevertheless an idea of neighbor's house over there less of a jungle hardly any any foliage over there all of it's over here so you can see that spiral staircase goes on up to that deck that deck is cantilevered out over which is kind of cool um, but again, this is a wood house. It's, it's 1970s construction. The, the ground floor is block and stucco, but upstairs is all wood. Um, it's, gonna take a, it's gonna take a little bit of work, but it's a good value and a good price, and you get a lot of house for, for, um, for that price. I wonder if that's insulated up there. I don't know. But then there's a back door to the garage. But all in all, this is a good house. 1238 C Plume Way. I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International. 941-366-0000. Thanks for watching.